According to Minister Patterson, during the sitting of the National Assembly on Monday, approval will not be granted for the area, which lies between Fort Groin and Camp Street to be used for activities that could generate noise above provincial levels. In a statement released by the Infrastructure Ministry, noted that the area will not be used as a venue for entertainment and or social and other events which involve the use of loud audio and video systems, including those installed in motor vehicles and for events characterized by crowd-generated noise. This is in keeping with government's recent drive to clamp down operators and business owners who facilitate songs that exceed the provisions stated in the guidelines for noise emission into the environment. The ministry's statement outlined that the organizers are now duly notified of the annulment of their approvals and that organizers are advised to use alternative venues and operate with the relevant regulations for the use in public. Public spaces. However, the enforcement of these measures has not been sitting well with many sections of society, especially the business community which sponsors and hosts the very events that are being curtailed. Sources close to the Marriott Hotel informed this publication that visitors staying at the hotel would often leave during the hosting of any event due to the noise levels. This reliable source noted that that the hotel is at a loss when this happens since they will have to compensate their guests. For the evening news, Yenala Dalrymple.